Hello, this is Ramesh Yarabali. In this video, I will discuss the ST7735 display that we're using in 319K. The ST7735 display is a color LCD display. Uh, let's uh, look at a few characteristics of this display. It's a 1.8 inch um, thin film transistor LCD display. Um, basically, uh, uh, these kinds of displays are what are called active matrix displays and uh, essentially the technology that is used in making these displays is same same silicon technology that is used in building computers uh, except it's been it's been designed for displays. Um, that's where the thin film transistor idea comes from. For us uh, in this course we'll try to understand just the this a little bit about the details but but most of it will be will be whittled down to just a couple of simple routines you have to write um, but let's let's look at a few features uh, first thing uh, to know about this display it's a it's a 128 wide by 160 high high <coughs> pixel display uh, with 18 bits per pixel the 18 bit color so it's 18 bits per pixel uh, we will only use 16 bit uh, color in this class uh, in in our in our library because it doesn't really um, make much sense uh, to have a, a color value we send and uh, and which is not a multiple which is not a character or a 16 bit or a 32 bit number so we will use a 16 bit color um, and because it's a 16 bit color and the red, the red, green, and blue values will be represented by by uh, because sixteen is not evenly divisible by three. Uh, we will do a uh, five five pixels for this, uh, five bits for this, six bits for this, and five bits for this. The reason being is our eyes are more sensitive to green than they are to red and blue. Okay, so. The next thing to know about our display is it uses an interface. Um, the next thing to know is uh, is uh, is that it uses a SPI interface. SPI stands for uh, synchronous peripheral interface. Now. This this goes by many names. I square C is a name, uh, SSI is a name. But uh, bottom line for us is that we will be using multiple pins to connect this to our microcontroller. So our microcontroller will use um, use either we can use uh, multiple wires, but the actual protocol itself is a four uh, four or five wire protocol that we are gonna use. Um, this, this display is gonna get its power from our microcontroller. So there's this is our ground. This is one of the pins that the ground comes. There is the backlight, which comes from our 3.3 volts. Um, the ground comes from there. There is another uh, VCC, which goes from the 3.3 volts. And, but there are other pins, these four or five pins are Mainly, um, for us, the main uh, things about those four pins are one of them is a clock. Um, synchronous, the word synchronous means that the microcontroller and the, and the um, display are, are operate in lockstep mode. So the, ma the, the, the clock is provided by the, provided by the microcontroller and synced by the display. The LCD gets the display. Um, so one of those pins is gonna be the clock pin, uh, which we will, we, you will understand as this guy right here, that's the clock pin. The second thing that we need, second bit uh, pin that we need is a way to reset it. There's a reset pin. Um, the third thing that we need to reset is just to start over. Uh, the third thing is to give it a command or data, the DC uh, pin. The DC pin is saying that 
we can either issue issue when we write to it we can either issue a command or we can issue data and we'll see what the distinction between those are so one of these pins will either write a zero when we write a zero that's a command when we write one it's data that we are sending to from the microcontroller to our display um, the fourth pin of interest to us which is is where actually the 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 bits that we want to transfer go over and this pin is called the MOSI pin which is uh, which is basically our data uh, the pin on uh, uh, the the line on which we transfer data the data transfer goes on the data itself uh, can be either a command or a, or data as we will see uh, so this let's just call that the transfer link the txd if you will uh, the rest of the rest of the pins are there because there is there is the possibility of using an sd card on this which we are not going to be using but some of those pins are for that and and um, and in this in this uh, library that we are providing you we don't have any in, we don't have uh, the any use for it um, let's let's look at how what modes our our display will can operate in so there are two modes the display can operate in the modes are the first mode is what we call as the uh, 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 the graphics mode which is actually the most more more important mode and the second mode is our our um, is what we call as text mode and i'll i'll uh, I'll first describe these modes and then we'll get into how we actually uh, issue commands and data to the to our display. We can think of our display as as being made up of uh, uh, as I said 128 pixels wide by 160 pixels high. That's the height and the width. And because we're talking about pixels, uh, if let's say there is a pixel at some position that is um, uh, that is y pixels down um, and that's that's the notation we'll be using and x pixels on in this direction let's say there's a pixel somewhere here and this is the pixel and if i want if i'm ac accessing this pixel indi individually then i'm operating it in a graphics mode now there are times when i don't operate on a single pixel but i might operate on text that is for example if I'm writing let's say a, a character so let's say I'm writing a character out at the very top so when I'm writing a character out a pixel we don't view it as a single pixel we think of it as a five wide by seven high window or area of pixel array in which we write the text for example if i'm writing a character let's say uh, if i'm writing the character x um, i'm just x is an easy one so i'm going to take the example of x so if i'm writing the character character x some um, into that location i might have a value so x might simply mean that i will mark those pixels and those pixels like that so that would be my text interface. Now here's here's an example of uh, of a text that is five by seven wide. So these are all characters that one can one can write that are five by seven wide, and that's exactly the format it's going to use. So these are different characters. Now this is basically what we mean by the two modes. Now it turns out that 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 in order to communicate with our device, we either from the microcontroller we either send like we as i said we to the display to our lcd display we we send information and the information we send can be one of two types the two types of information two two types of interactions we do and the two interactions are one we can write a command or two we can write a uh, write data so 
So to kind of give you an example of what we mean by that is commands are typically things like, um, uh, and we don't do either or, we do a combination of the two. And commands are can be things like set, cursor, position. There might be more than one command that is, becomes a set cursor position. This might be an example of this might be um, display a character. Or uh, set color of a pixel. Right. So, so to kind of wrap our, our head around this, uh, sorry for the glitch, uh, to wrap our head around this, let's take a simple example. Let's say on our display, uh, I'm going to take the example of, uh, of setting a, a pixel at a certain position on our, on our screen. And, and this is, this is approximately what will happen, but I'm not going to worry about all the details. So, so this is our zero zero. So typically if I want to do something like this and I would, let's say I want to set this pixel to a color, which is an orange color. I'm making this up. So, so uh, my commands will be, uh, first, the first part will be set the, set the, um, address uh, or set cursor position and let's I'm just gonna call that set cursor position followed by second thing is set color actually let me blow this up a little bit and the second one is set color of the pixel that's gonna be drawn so set cursor position actually might be a couple of commands. The first command might be to set the X position. Second command might be to set the Y position, right? And in fact, the X and Y positions may, might actually be, um, because, because they're, in that case, they're just, they're just eight bit numbers. It could be eight, eight bits, but it could actually, involved sending two commands because depending upon what our interface to the LCD is set the Y position and then the next one might be write to RAM so those are my three commands these are all commands right but in between the set X position there is going to be a in between there is these are these three are commands command command but this is setting the position, but I have to say what the position itself is. So between this, there'll be a data. The actual value of x, value of x is sent as a data com a data uh, command or uh, data interaction, data actual value of y, right? So, and similarly, the color itself might actually be two data values, data and data, because it's a 16 bit number. So we write these two as eight bit values. So one of the things to remember is all our data values and, uh, and command values, all of these are gonna be eight bits, eight bits each. So we can only send eight bits at a time. So we will, uh, are, are setting up setting a pixel will look like that. So in fact, if you are curious, you should look at a function called uh, ST7735 draw pixel, 7735 draw pixel function in the in one of the uh, examples that John is gonna discuss, the, the ST7735.c library he's gonna discuss, that will tell you how this works. Okay, so let's break this down then. How does write command and write data work? So here's write command broken up into its, its simple steps. Now, here's something to remember. Because we are, trying to, we are trying to hide all the details of SPI, all you need to know about SPI interaction between our microcontroller and our LCD display is the SPI, protocol is uh, the driver is entirely 
abstracted out using two registers for us SSI 0, SRR register and SSI 0, DRR register. This is a status register and this is a data register. So these are the only two registers we need to know about. So everything we do as far as our interaction between these two are captured in these two registers. So what is what is a write command going to look like? Here is the essence of write command and I'll I'll actually make this smaller so I can draw draw a flow chart for this. Um, the idea here is very straightforward. Uh, we're going to first check uh, look for a video on synchronization. So we're going to check the I'm going to call this the status register bit 4 uh, because I don't want to write the, all of those. This is status register bit 4 and I check to see if the device is busy. If the device is busy uh, then then this bit will be high and I keep checking till it's ready to take a command. If it's ready to take a command then it's be, it'll be low and so I take the DC pin and I set the DC pin to be equal to 0 and 0 tells us that we are issuing a command. Set the com that to zero followed by the command itself. Commands can be different types of commands. For as I said, uh, some commands are to reset the machine, some commands are to set the X position, some commands are to set the Y position, and so on. So there's many commands. So the command itself is returned to the data register, to the DR. This is the status register. To the data register, we will write the command that we want to issue. And because I might take a little while to uh, to um, respond, uh, we want to be double sure that the command has been has been processed. So we will repeat this step again. The status register bit four. We're going to take this bit four, look for it to be as long as it's busy. Then we keep looping, and if it's done, we then we keep looping, and if it's done, we we will we exit the subroutine because has been issued and has been successfully completed. So let's take a look at our other one, which is write data. Data is almost identical, except it's actually simpler. So write data is this. And again, we're going to take the SR R bit bit 1 position because this is data um, not bit 4 bit 1 and we're going to check this bit and this bit is going to tell us whether the whether it's ready for ish for receiving a uh, some a data so this should say data for issuing data to the lcd so if it's the lcd then it's not ready it is ready and, and then we're going to set that DC bit to be equal to 1. This is to say that we are issuing data and not, it's a data interaction and a command interaction. And then I'm, once I do that, then I can actually issue the data itself. So I write to the data register. I write the actual data that I want to communicate. And we come out. So... Uh, there is no need for a, a check again because the data is issued and um, we, we, we realize that um, data processing is usually much faster than command processing. And also um, we will see that um, the synchronization, uh, uh, doing double synchronization can be, can be a performance hit when it comes to data. Usually we, we issue a small command and then we issue a lot of data so so we don't we, we don't need to be uh, extra careful on on issuing data so that's all for sd7735 in lab 7 we'll be using it in text mode so all you really need to know is the sd7735 draw character function and a draw string function and these are pretty straightforward 
and uh, you will build on top of these uh, you will write your own functions called LCD out uh, out deck and LCD out fix that that build on top of these.